bus stop. But unfortunately, you might think from my surroundings that there's going to be a bus based on where I'm staying. But unfortunately, Valdosta doesn't have a bus system. So this is very problematic to the citizens and residents of Valdosta because without a bus system, people can't get have transportation to go to work. And how this affects society is we can use the legitimate means theory to, to describe this. Basically, I mean, the, the, legitimate, the legitimate means theory is basically like a domino effect. Like, if you don't have transportation, you can't get a job. If you can't get a job, that leads to bonds because you're, you don't have enough time. You're not consuming yourself with time. So, this is very problematic, and this issue needs to be. Now, when understanding the issue is that transportation has on the citizens, of the city of Valdosta. Just imagine, if you don't have a place to go to work, you're bound to be walking on the street. And you can see, there's no sidewalk. So if I'm walking, trying to get a class, like a good citizen, trying to get my education, the chances of me being hit are not slim. So it's important that we have a transportation system to help out those problems. I did extensive research about on the public transportation system of Valdosta on their website and in 2010 they actually tried to do a plan to create a public transportation system in Valdosta. However, they pushed it back to 2013 and interestingly enough, it's going to take until 2035 until the whole plan is put together. So that's about 20 plus years for, no, that's about 10, 10 plus years until we have a um, public transportation system in Valdosta. So I think it's important for the people, the residents in Valdosta to push their needs to the public officials. So just think about that. Do you believe public transportation would be beneficial to both you and this community, Valdosta? And why? Do I believe that it would be valuable? Or do yes. I believe that it would be good? Beneficial. Yeah, sure. I mean, my personal opinion is yes. Uh, but, I mean, I, I think kind of even beyond my personal opinion is that there would be a material reality yeah. that, that is relevant for us to address, too. That, it, I mean, my opinion is fine and well and good, and everyone probably has an opinion on it if they think about mm -hmm. it. But um, more important might be for us to actually assess the needs of, of the community that we live in and any other community, too. So sociologists are regularly doing what are called needs assessments, which means that we look at the actual um, requirements of a, of a social community and evaluate as to whether or not their needs are being met. And if a good portion of the population... Um, Who, when they first contact in your opinion, uh, pushing the matter of public transportation? Jacob, and we have some questions that we want to ask you concerning public transportation. I want to ask you all, what are your means of public transportation at this moment? Um, I have a car, and I also walk a lot. All right. Do you believe public transportation will be beneficial for you and as well as the community? Uh, yeah, not to you. Uh, public transportation, you mean like bus? Yes. Um, yeah. For what reason do you think we don't have any public transportation in Valdosta? Um, as you know, Valdosta <laughs> is not so bigger city rather than just Atlanta or something like other yeah. other big cities in our other countries. So it's just up to the size of the city because even though people really needed tra public transportation, but if there would be no many population, maybe governments or country would not wanna make a yes. public transportation for their people because that would be something like um, sort of wasting money. It could be even though they, they would work for people. Mm -hmm.